It's uh, May 17th, 2020. I'm going to try to relocate this nest. There's actually a policies. They were concerned about policies in here, but I didn't see any nests. But I saw uh, three bumblebees return with pollen, so the nest is somewhere under here. Turn away some of the branches, get an idea of where, where they might be. Let's see one coming back. I know last year I filmed one, but it was actually near this end. Of, I got a lot of um, slack for it, but um, the one I did last year, last August, was actually um, on its last leg, so it wasn't really worth relocating because it was pretty much finished anyway, but this nest is new. Um, it looks like they're going in around here, from what I could see. It's all on leave. So yeah, just uh, that stuff. This nest will be relocated. one of the bees trying to get a piece of me. Everybody knows the species. I think it's uh, Bimaculatus. It could be Grishiocallus, but still doing some digging here. They can be uh, pretty tricky to find sometimes, but I uh, want to get this uh, get this one done. Yeah, the nest is definitely in here. So they went in around here. And the nest is back there, and there's probably Got a good swarm here. It's a lot of workers. But uh, if I get this nest put in that box, mm -hmm. and then I will uh, have them hopefully fly back into, into the box where the nest is, kind of like how I do other relocations, but we'll see how it goes. An interesting behavior I've noticed about bumblebees is actually lay on their, bumblebees is that they'll uh, lay on their back um, when they're under attack, but the nest is probably pretty close. I'm um, just got to trim away some more branches, get easier access, and then I'll uh, get this sucker out. There's like a pile of leaves, like right under here, this mulch, and that's where the nest is. Probably like an old chipmunk, chipmunk nest that they utilized. Um, so it's just kind of a slow process. You've got to be patient. And, um, pretty much uh, that's the key. I think they're Bimax. They could be Grishiocallus. I don't know my bumblebees as well, but... Here's the nest. Hope that's all of it. I'm trying to find the queen. Just get as many workers as I can on the queen. The nest out intact, and that's the, the job. So, um, they just fly in the box. I did not see the queen, um, but they are—they do seem pretty smart. They—they they are flying in there. So I'm just trying to get all those workers and then uh, try and find the queen. But I did not see the queen on the comb, and you can see a lot of them have pollen, so they're bringing it back. And I had the opening of the cell facing up, so that way they—the nectar doesn't—the nectar stores don't spill out. Um, so hopefully this will be a success. And I, like I said, I really want the queen. It was a small nest. It was about, it was a ball shape kind of, um, in the size of a, a little smaller than a tennis ball. But uh, they're going in the box, so it's going pretty well. Just keep coming back. It's probably about, I'd say, 40 to 50 bees, 40 to 50 workers in this nest, May 17th. There's a dead one here. I think that's a queen, actually. Um, it, queens can fight over a nest, and you can see it's bald there, so it's old. I think it's a bimac. Here's inside the box. See the nest. Give them a second chance at life. Like I said, the one I did last year was already at the end of the, the season, so it wasn't really anything to relocate. 
but this one uh, still young, so I got to get more workers. Probably at least a dozen in there now. It's been about a half hour. Not seen as many. A lot of them went in. Little tiny workers, and you have some bigger ones. I don't think the queen is in there. Either the queen died or I missed her. But I might dig around a little more after I'm done here. There's a few of them. They uh, start to associate the, uh, the box, the nest. Go in. Not as aggressive anymore. I do see a larger one on the left that might be the queen. Because she's kind of bald. It's like the left hand side of the nest. You can kind of see like a dark spot on the thorax. It could be the queen because she does look bigger, so that would mean that I, it was successful. So now I'm just trying to get, because I have the queen, I have the nest, and I'm just trying to get as many workers as I can. Yeah, I think that is the queen with that, because she's got that bald thorax. As you hopefully you can see it, it's on the left side. Let's set them off. High pitch buzz means your alarm, but just gotta keep calm and I'll seal it up. Few of them, most of them went in. All right, so that's uh, where the nest was in here. It's solid soil. Got the nest out and all the leaves that were protecting the nest. Some tunnels here I saw when I put them in another bag. But um, that should be it. Gotta fill this back in. Got two tenor and another forager I got in that bag. And the nest is in there. I see another one there, so I'll put that one in the bag. So that'll be three workers that I didn't, didn't go in the box that I'll get.